lionfish. It's what's for dinner. Not commonly found on menus yet, but if conservationists have their way, the invasive candy-striped aquarium fish could be heading to a dinner plate near you. So we just flip these over. The plan to fight the Western Hemisphere's worst yeah, oceanic menace is to turn it into a gourmet delicacy. Absolutely. They don't belong here, and we should just eat them all. So we've got our seared lionfish, it's sort of simmered in its own little sauce here, the lemon juice and the green onions. What a beautiful filet. Chefs say lionfish has a mild, versatile flavor that lends itself to everything from a basic fry to sushi. That's full of flavor. It's delicious. Cool. Good. I'm glad you like really it. Really good. Voracious predators from the tropical Indian and Pacific Oceans, lionfish are eating their way out from Florida and the Carolinas. This is truly a unique invasion and may actually prove to be one of the most devastating marine invasions in history. In this invasion, this novel predator is just sweeping through the system. Netting in the Bahamas is just the first line of defense against the fast-growing army of marine invaders. Lionfish are here, their numbers are increasing, and eating lionfish is a great way to help conserve our marine resources. So we've got uh, some beautiful lionfish fillets. This is coming off the coast of Beaufort, North Carolina. It's, uh, it's an absolutely beautiful fish in the water. Unfortunately, it shouldn't be there. And you know, ceviche is a great way to use up a fish that you don't have a whole lot of. Real simple preparation. Just a couple of pieces of lionfish, a little bit of chili. Both chefs and conservationists say eating lionfish is not only good for the environment, it's good for you. A five-city tasting tour with celebrity chefs is being planned. So keep an eye out for lionfish on the menu this summer. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press.